what's going on riders here it is here i am with another ride home review and this week i'm going to be talking about mid 90s which star sunny siljik lucas henges katherine waterston and is uh, the directorial debut of jonah hill uh from super bad and uh well, you know who Jonah Hill is. So, but before I get into everything else, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and also uh, listen to the Anchor channel if you would rather hear the audio as a podcast. So, um, Ride Home Reviews for all of that. So, the movie obviously takes place in the mid 90s. Um, skater culture in the Southern Los Angeles area and revolves around um, the character of Stevie as he's trying to figure out who he is, where he belongs, and so on because he just doesn't feel like he's getting it at home. Um, what I liked about this film was it was it was interesting. It seemed like it was a bunch of non sequiturs, but strung together, it just it had a really powerful narrative. Um, and I really enjoyed the evolution of the characters. The four friends that he met at the skate shop were just an interesting bunch. And all four of those actors really had a handle on who they were as a character and it was and it showed and it was really interesting to see that um, uh, and you know and then also Sonny pretty dang this is why I always try to talk about giving Oscars to kids because he did a wonderful job in this movie and I don't know if he's gonna get enough credit for it but he his character traversed the world of his home and traversed the world of the skater culture and it collided but um but at the same time it's it's just it was just amazing to watch him transform but not really um he is who he is and he doesn't compromise that and i think that was the whole premise um so i really enjoyed that i thought the camera work and the cinematography was really good um, and I, I, uh, and I liked the story. I, at first I was like, this, where's this going? Where's this going? And it finally hit the, hit the notes. Um, especially f from the second act into the third act, it really hit those notes and uh, you saw the evolution of the relationships happening. Um, uh, what I didn't like, uh, was I thought that there could have been more with, his home life a little bit more Lucas Henges wasn't on on screen enough I don't think um but I know that there was purposes for it but yeah it's just uh yeah that was probably it really is like some of the home life just you know could have been fleshed out a little bit more um uh the reasons why he was pushed a little bit harder I think that could have been um I like the fact that the closure was subtle so just watch for that the closure was very subtle and what to watch for um, uh, the aspect ratio the film was shot in just uh, pay attention to that because it'll it's a th it's a bit of a throwback so see see if you can pick out what I'm talking about there but I really I thought the I mean it wasn't a home run but it was a very good outing for Jonah Hill in his first first uh, first attempt um, uh, a kind of a modern day retell not retelling but a modern day version of kids if anybody remember kids from the late 90s so anyway but that's it don't forget subscribe on YouTube like on Facebook follow on Instagram that is it mid 90s it's a pretty darn good one. see you next week